Hello friends, in this video we will be preparing the Nestler's reagent which is used in the qualitative analysis for the detection of ammonium ions in the lab. Nestle's reagent is actually potassium tetraiodomercurate 2 which is a complex containing the potassium cation and the tetraiodomercurate 2 anion. Nestle's reagent is named after the German chemist Julier Nessler who is the guy in the screen. That weird looking B like thing is the German alphabet which is pronounced as 2S in English. These are the materials required for this synthesis. Start by weighing out all the reactants. Here I have the mercury 2 chloride which I had prepared in one of my previous videos. I will provide a link to that in the description. Weigh out 2.2 grams of it. Now I add 45 milliliters of distilled water to the mercury 2 chloride for complete dissolution. I use a glass stirring rod in order to dissolve the mercury 2 chloride. Now we weigh out the potassium iodide, 6 grams of it. A very minimum amount of distilled water was then used to dissolve the potassium iodide salt completely. This will take place very fast as the solubility of potassium iodide in water is very high. Now I weigh out the sodium hydroxide required to make the 5 molar solution. If you want to make 100 ml of it, you need 20 grams of sodium hydroxide. I only need 20 ml of the 5 molar sodium hydroxide here, that's why I only made about 25 ml of the solution. For that, I need 5 grams of sodium hydroxide. After weighing out the sodium hydroxide, I added 25 ml of distilled water to it. With the help of a glass steering rod, I then dissolved the sodium hydroxide in water. Dissolution of sodium hydroxide in water is exothermic, so take care not to spill the contents of the beaker over you. Okay, now we have all the solutions ready. First of all, the potassium iodide solution is slowly added into the mercury 2 chloride solution. You immediately see a red colored precipitate being formed and this is the mercury iodide being formed. Continue adding the potassium iodide, you will notice that the color of the precipitate becomes darker and darker as more of the precipitate of mercury iodide is formed. But after that, when you keep on adding the potassium iodide, you see that the mercury 2 iodide starts to dissolve and finally, when you finish adding the potassium iodide, all the mercury iodide that has been produced will have dissolved and you will have a pale yellow clean solution. And that clear solution is actually the tetraiodomercurate 2 complex. Now the next step is to add the sodium hydroxide solution. So into that we add 20 milliliters of the 5 molar sodium hydroxide solution which we have prepared. On adding the sodium hydroxide to the solution, you can see the color becomes a little more intensified. The next step is to add distilled water into it. I added the distilled water to make up the total volume of the solution to 100 milliliters. And finally this is done and this solution is the Nestler's reagent. You can now store it in a bottle and use it as necessary. Now let us test it. In the beaker, I have some ammonium salt solution. Then I add the Nestler's reagent into it. Immediately you see a brown colored precipitate being formed. What is happening here is Tetraiodomercurate ion in the presence of base reacts with the ammonium ion to form the iodide of Millen's base which is the brown colored complex precipitate. And this is actually the confirmatory test for ammonium ions.
I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do subscribe to the channel and hit on the bell button so that you will get the notifications of my new videos. Also, join my discord server, I will put a link to that in the description.